Hi, um, this is Jane, and I wanted to share with you um, something that I was working on recently um, to hold my nibs. And I did this basically for the purpose of being able to mail these safely. Um, in the past, I have just used, um, what do you call that, tape, washi tape, to tape these nibs down. Um, but then I started looking online for how to, just in case there's somebody out there that already did it. And Anne Elzer has a lovely post on her blog about how she and, and one of her friends came up with something similar to this. Um, the difference is that mine has this part here, um, the mountain and valley folds inside that allows the um, nibs to flip open like so. And I did make a change to this one where I changed the sizes. So this first cardboard is one by four, one inch by four inches. And this next one's one and a half by four inches. And the last one is two inches by four inches. And right now it's slightly more. And the reason why I did that was it allows the, these to come down a bit more so that this top one, I can put nibs in it and still be able to close the, the top as you can see right now you won't be able to close, put any nibs up here um, unless you shove them in there and you don't want to do that, right? So anyways, I wanted to show you really quickly how I make these. And again, please, um, the credit for um, part of this goes to Ann Elzer. I just want to make sure that you all visit her lovely blog and check out her instructions. She has um, handwritten um instructions on there and they're they're lovely so i have here my scope score pal and um i will try to list the measurements for uh, where to score without a score pal but for now i'm just gonna show it on my score pal so this first sheet is a um eight and a half by four and a quarter and this is going to be the main body of the book the outside of the book so you're going to put it up against here, and as you can see, I have scored it at six inches, five and a half inches, three inches, and two and a half inches. And what that does is it allows me to make the outside of the book. Like so. So there's the main body of the book. And then the next piece that I have is a four and a quarter inch by three inch piece of paper. And this is what's going to go on the inside. And in order to make the accordion folds, um, basically you come in by one inch on each side. In the center inch, you're going to score at a quarter inch each. So you're going to score at the one inch line and then score again at the two inch line. And then in between, score three times for a quarter inch each, if that makes any sense. On the score pal, it's really easy. I just go to the five, five and a half inch mark, and I utilize these three um, score tools right here. And I just go one, two, three. Then I move it over to six inches, the six inch mark over here, and I continue with the other two, so one and two more lines. And I do it on both sides because then it allows it for easy folding. So you're gonna go valley fold, and then the next one's going to be mountain, and then valley, and then mountain, and then make another valley on the end, which is right there. So then you will have There you go, voila, just like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the um, one inch by four inch cardboard piece, one and a half inch, and two inch by four inch. And I like to run my nails along or fold, you can use a bone folder I suppose, just along the edge, about a quarter inch in, 
and you're going to flatten the bottom part because you want these to be able to fit in to the slots here like so okay and then you're going to take the cardboard and you're going to center it so like that and lift these out of the way center it more or less you're going to take I use painters tape or masking tape and I'm just going to center it on the side here I'm just going to run it across as I keep a firm grip on the cardboard making sure that it is um, pinched in there all the way like so and then you fold it over and you have your first row and then you do your mountain fold again just to make sure it's nice and creased and this one I'm going to just make sure that I kind of come up a little bit more maybe about a good one inch of creasing and I'm going to pop it in to this fold here make sure it fits like so keeping it pressed in there I'm just going to fold the next mountain over make sure it's centered which it's not so pull it over a little more there we go and then you're going to take the next masking tape and just kind of run it along like so and then see you've got the next next little bit right there and then for the last piece just make sure that you fold that last little valley and then crease this down quite a bit and you can make sure that also that um, this is the side that you want up because you want the nips to be able to go into the slots um, so then you're going to tuck this in like so and for this one I just lay it down center it take the masking tape run it down like that press it down well and there you go you have your three slots all right then we want to get it in here so when you do this you just want to make sure that it you have it nice and snug like this so that it fits in and what I've done already here on this one switch colors on this one if you see I have put down score pal tape which is double-sided tape uh, just one along the back on this one and then I just doubled it up on the front because I really want the front to be secure so again I'm going to open it up the bottom half is where the nibs are going to go I'm just going to take this off first line it up to the edge here like so and you're just going to bring oops kind of hard with a camera in my face I apologize so you're just going to line it up like this just kind of run the paper up and along and then you're going to peel these two off like so and then you're going to compress it down bring this up right along the edge here just make sure it's lined up like so and then you're just going to gently press the top down like that there we go so now you have the three and the top will come over after you filled up nibs and how you secure this is up to you um, again I highly recommend going over to Ann um, Elzer's blog and check out her design and how she finished it up you can decorate the front with uh, scrapbook paper or put a little ribbon tie it down maybe like a velcro closure or a magnetic closure would work too 
Anyways, I hope that you have fun making these and let me know if you have any questions. Oh, and if you check me out over on Instagram, I am Ginkgo Arts over there. Have a great day.